Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today we are here to do another video regarding the game optimization service on S21 Ultra devices. I think many of you watched my previous video. It was actually from last year, quite a while ago. I think I was one of the first people on the internet to discover that disabling game optimization service on Samsung devices. In that particular case, it was an Exynos 990 S20 Plus, I think. So if you disable the game optimization service on it, the gaming performance will actually improve. Uh, and in that case, it was PUBG. Uh, if you disable that, the device could run PUBG at 60 FPS. Uh, if you do not disable game optimization service, the device cannot maintain a 60 FPS. So I guess many of you has known that and uh, uh, you and based on that fact, you suggest me to disable game optimization service on Samsung S21 Ultra and test the gaming performance uh, again. Okay, so I'll do exactly that today. And today I'm using this uh, Snapdragon version of the S21 Ultra. Uh, to disable game optimization service on Android 11 Samsung devices is a little bit difficult, but I still managed to do it. So as you can see here, I've used the package disabler and I've disabled all the Samsung gaming plugins or game optimization service or game launcher or game booster. Basically everything um, uh, that Samsung has something to do with the game, I've disabled them. And now let's test the Genshin Impact game at highest settings again. So uh, just to show you the graphic settings, everything is still at max, just like all my previous tests. And make to make the result comparable to previous tests, I'll still go around this Nantian area. So it's the same area with the same graphic settings, just this time with game optimization service disabled, so that you can uh, try to figure out whether there is any improvement or not. One thing to note that uh, PerfDoc actually released 5.1 update recently and uh, their developer actually contacted me in person regarding this uh, fake FPS issue on Samsung devices. They actually acknowledge the issue. They say that it's due to some interpolation of uh, frames or something like that, whichever you, way you put it. And they released this 5.1 version just to detect the interpolated frames to make sure that the actual FPS detected is accurate. But I think with that, it comes a bug of the, this layout. As you can see here, the FPS number and the time actually overlaps each other. So you can't really see clearly what is the FPS. I've already feedback this to them as well and they promised me to fix this as soon as possible. Uh, so I have to apologize to you guys for this time. We have to live with it. Uh, you can't really see the FPS numbers clearly, uh, but I guess it's still okay because uh, at the end of the video, I will still try to show you the full FPS record and also the average FPS. So uh, now I'll show you 10 minutes of gameplay. If you would like to watch, just watch it and enjoy it. Otherwise, fast forward to the end of video and uh, check out the results. We're way behind schedule. Ready?
agenda. <laughs> We're way behind schedule. Next on the agenda. We're way behind schedule. <laughs> Way behind schedule.
the agenda? Next on the agenda? Next on the agenda? Now let's take a look at the results. So um, I'm sorry to tell you this, but this time it seems that disabling GOS on S21 Ultra does not bring a significant improvement to the gaming performance. So in this test, the average FPS achieved by this Snapdragon S21 Ultra is around 44. While in my previous test, uh, with, with GOS enabled, it was 42 something, I think. So there is uh, only one or two frames per second difference. And if you ask me, I think that is well within the uh, random error. Basically, you test this game uh, back to back two times, maybe you will sometimes see one or two frames difference. And that's, that does not say anything. And uh, if we look at the average power, I think it's mostly the same as well. If I remember correctly, last time it was around 5.5 or 5.6, 5 something around there. So this time we get 5.5 watt on average as well. So there is almost no difference. So I guess uh, we have to accept that this year uh, disabling GOS does not uh, make your Genshin Impact game smoother. And uh, all right, so that's it. That's today's uh, video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you would and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, see you next time.